so fly me to talk about decentralized command and, and what I would see happen with decentralized command. As I tell some junior leader, okay, you know, you need decentralized command, you need to let your guys go out and do what they need to do. And they'd go out on the battlefield and uh, this is, you know, again, in training where there, no one's going to die. They'd go out and all the little leaders would get their own idea and they'd go and try and make all the stuff that happened and the commander would lose control and everyone would get crushed and shot up with paintball and the whole nine yards. And they'd come back and they'd say, oh, you know, I, I, I did decentralized command. It doesn't work. See? Right. And I would say, no, you did decentralized command, but you missed the key part of decentralized command, which is guidance, parameters, understanding of the mission, commander's intent, standard operating procedures, limits of advance, all these nice little restrictions that you put on the guys. Now they're, they're wide restrictions. I shouldn't have said little. They're wide restrictions. They give them a lot of mobility, but they understand what the objective is, what the end state is, what their parameters are, how far they can maneuver like they can know, they can, hey, if you, you can't go past this building, you can't go past this road, you can't go wherever. You mm. draw those lines so that they can operate freely within those lines. And that's how, they're ma- that's how you maintain control with mm. decentralized command. Are, would you call them like guidelines? Or, yes. Because when you say operate within those lines, is it pretty encouraged to stay within those lines? with their creativity or does the creativity, is that allowed to kind of overflow? Like if you say, you know how far you can engage there, are you saying there are, there are no exceptions? No, there can that? be exceptions. Can you be, know, yeah, if, yeah. if I call you up and say, Echo, I'm at building 14 right now. We see enemy moving to building 27. I want to push down this road. Are we good to do that? Right. And you say, all right, let me check the map. Let me check where my other forces are at. Yep. We're, you're good to go. You can move. So there are times where I have to check back with you to make sure we're good to go and make sure that you understand, but I'm, I'm going beyond what parameters were set and that's why I have to communicate right. to you. But I went all the way up to that point. Right. I maneuvered on the battlefield for you know, three, four, five, six hours. Maybe it was a day, maybe it was two days mm-hmm. without having to say, Echo, I need some guidance here. Right. Echo, I'm going to push beyond what you told me. Yeah, so these guidelines are kind of, you go in with the knowledge that there are exceptions as long as they're responsible. Yes. Or as long as what you do, you be responsible about making those exceptions. And, and communicating. Right. You know, oh, that's yes, that's yes. when bad things happen. When bad things happen is when you go outside the, the limitations that you're supposed to be in and you don't tell anybody. Oh, okay, that's yeah. uh, very, very Makes problematic. 